हाय फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग आई एम डॉक्टर आशीष गुप्ता एंड इसी सीरीज में कि नॉर्मल वेरिएंट क्या होता है लेट अस टॉक अबाउट समथिंग एल्स ओके व्हिच आल्सो क्रिएट्स लॉट ऑफ एंजाइटी राइट सो व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज अ माइल्ड वेंट्रिकुलर मेगेली राइट सो व्हाट वी आइडेंटिफाइड ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इज दिस दैट इट इज अ प्रेफरेंशियल टू वन ऑफ द बेबीज अक्रॉस ओके सो किसी एक बेबी में इट इज इट इज कॉमन राइट so uh, what we identified it to be a normal variant right but uh, usually what happens is this that the uh, that the atrium that there are stringent criteria of identifying how do we how do you make a diagnosis of ventricular megaly and all those stuff so 10 mm is a cut off 10 to 12 is mild 12 to 15 is moderate and more than 15 it is a severe ventricular megaly then we can have an asymmetrical asymmetrical you can have a unilateral bilateral you can have a lateral ventricular megaly if it is involving the third ventricle also most likely it could be aqueduct stenosis if it is involving all the four all the three ventricles like fourth ventricle is also done along with the third and the lateral ventricles then this could be a uh, non communicating hydrocephalus or probably we can have some brain atrophy we can have a uh, uh, sort of an obstruction as the uh, foramen of the um uh, lusca and magendi right but what we're talking about is a normal variant now okay so this is what it is that bilateral lateral ventricles are mildly dilated and uh, probably greater than 10 but less than 12 right okay so what we identified over the period of time is this that the usually the prognosis is not that bad but then probably we we'll try to look around for all the other structures so let us first go through uh, these slides and then probably we'll talk about all these things in a greater detail So this is the baby that we are seeing at 20 weeks and three days. So CSP is visualized, and uh, the, this is this is a bilateral uh, lateral ventricles which is dilated. There is no high riding third ventricle. We are trying to rule out whether it is a colpo cephaly or what. So CSP is very well. There is no direct and indirect signs as far as uh, the the corpus callosum degenesis is concerned. We can see the corpus callosum, the pericardial artery is being looked at very well. and um, uh, and then this is the nasal bone in the in the in the front uh, so so that is how it is right so mild ventricular megaly is from 10 to 12 and then we have identified it to be normal variant we should not be getting worried about that whole scenario so we do a neurosonogram you do an anomaly scan you do a tor screening and a genetic evaluation to the baby isolated they do have a very good uh, sort of an outcome 90 to 95% they do a normal outcome and normal neuro development and uh, this is what it is a lateral lateral plus third and third plus fourth ventricle which is dilated there could be symmetrical asymmetrical we are usually genetic if it is asymmetrical we can have an hemorrhage cyst or sort of an and um, so we can have dandy walker vein of gallen you can have some other malformations also infective and um, but mostly the neuro developmental development of the baby is absolutely is is almost in a normal range right could be associated with chromosomal abnormalities and um, uh, we can associate with some syndromes also like in acardi um, jobert and all those stuff we can have some um, uh, micro deletions also uh, and duplications also so xp20 and duplication can also be there and um, so meaning thereby that a micro array looking around for all micro deletions could be is could be one of the investigations so a normal ventricular megaly normal genetics is a very good favorable outcome so um, even though we identify uh, this could be an infective also so mother can be passing through that infection what we have identified i do have a lot of videos also in which we have identified that there is a resolution of the ventricular megaly uh, when the baby was passing through that infective stage th there was some sort of dilatation was there and then the amniotic fluid was also slightly on the higher side when we repeated it after the four weeks we identified that there was a resolution of the atrial diameter vis a vis the amniotic fluid has also come down so meaning thereby that the baby passed the baby is able to clear off that infection on its own and therefore the baby is able to swallow the amniotic fluid so in nutshell what i want to tell you is this if the ventricles are normal between the range of 10 to 12 if neurosonogram and associated all the ultrasound abnormalities are being ruled out meaning thereby that probably we can try a level best to so as to see um, whatever max that probably we want to see so what what we want to rule it out is a colpo cephaly uh, 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 csp high riding third ventricle if in a sagittal view we can see for corpus callosum and then the pericardial artery so probably what we want to rule out is a direct and indirect signs for a corpus callosum agenesis if absolutely everything is great then we are happy about it right 
and um, genetics can also be offered Gen in genetics what we usually do or we intend to do is a cma and um, if the uh, if 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 the uh, ventricular myocardial is mild and the genetics and the chromosomes of the baby is 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 normal whether we have ruled out microdeletions and duplications the prognosis is very good and the neurodevelopmental score to the baby is absolutely good to the tune of 90 to 95% so what we do is this that we regard it to be a normal variant okay so there is hardly anything so it is a lot, lot of reassurance and hardly anything to get worried of right thank you very much for your patient listening